With our video imported and the audio track ready to go, we'll now have a general look at the condition of our imported audio in order to make some determinations of technical quality and form a plan to make some improvements to the track. What I'm going to do here is actually remove the essential sound panel. So clicking on this little item here, I can choose to close panel. This way we can see the audio track a lot better. I'm also going to shorten our preview here so we're able to see what's going on at a very small level as we go through this. Now, the first thing I want to do is check and see the actual decibel range when the narrator speaks. So if we have that on loop, I can go ahead and hit spacebar or play to preview this. To spark .adobe and we can spark immediately see Adobe that this is like super Adobe low. This was recorded not at ideal audio, which would be around Adobe this area here between negative six and negative 12. Instead, it's falling around negative 24 to, to negative 20. So not, not too good. We need to improve the level of her speech. The other thing we want to check is this end of the spectrum. So let's go ahead and select some of our dead space here to view the actual ambient room noise. Again, looping is on. We've got our selection. Let's go ahead and hit play to preview this and see how it is. All right. So obviously this was not recorded in pristine conditions. It's not too noisy, but it's definitely registering. Whereas when we record in our pristine environment, uh, we actually don't get anything registering nearly as high as negative 51 decibels. So we'll clean that up as well. The last thing to look for are other little noises and glitches. So I can immediately see in my waveform right here that we've got something going on. It shows up both in waveform view and in my spectral frequency display. So let's give it a listen. It's just a little click. So we need to remove any little clicks like this as we go through our file as well in order to clean it up. Here's something else that might be a strange noise. And we've got a couple over here also. Now towards the end, this looks a little weird. And I happen to know that this is actually just a little dialogue between the narrator and the technician after the actual recording bits were complete. This is actually just junk that we can immediately delete. So we'll get rid of that too.